Okay, let's check out Project F4E. This is in development by Beta Dwarf, the developers of Minion Masters. Now, this is in the prologue. Prologue is the early access. So we're having these prologue seasons, testing it out, giving feedback, helping to shape the progress of the game. But of course, as well as being part of it, you're also able to unlock rewards. Um, by getting these prologue points. So if you want to get involved, just go to the website, Project F4E, on the Beta Dwarf website, and get yourself a key. Now, you can earn a free version of the game by participating in these uh, these prologues. So um, what kind of game it is it? Game is it? It's a PvE, player versus environment, multiplayer, online, co-op game, mixing MOBA gameplay with the approach of an MMORP, MMORG, MMORG, MMO, massively, what's an MMORG? Lissandra, MMO, massively multiplayer, online, yeah, what's the RG? You've answered my question by just typing what MMORG. What's the RG stand for? Roll, oh, MMO, like RPG? Roguelike game, apply the salt, what's up? Is that what it stands for? Or are you guessing? Ritual got no, roll game, Missing a P, right? MMO, do you think it's an MMO RPG? I think it must be an MMO RPG. Maybe. Okay, so it's PVE, co op, MOBA, MMO RPG, roguelike. If you all want to get involved, go to the website, check it out. I don't know, we're not sure. Okay, so this, this season is called Path of Wrath. If you're American, it's probably Path of Wrath. So this is actually quite a long test. This is September the 8th to September the 14th. It's just a lot of buzzwords that vaguely relate to it. Okay, so we've got a scoreboard there. Earn exclusive founders rewards. So these are the prologue points. Do certain things. Earn rewards. Now the... The, probably the, the biggest reward you're interested in is getting a free copy of the game. The Buddy Edition. So this is going to be like a light edition of the game, I think. But it's going to be a, a, a full version of the game. Maybe just not with all the content. Okay. So you can check that out if you want to. Ma Hold on. Multiplayer Monster Obliterator Random Game. Yes, that's that. Um, that is actually quite accurate. This is like the third or the fourth or the fifth prologue. I don't know. There's been a lot of them. But if you've been following along with the, the progress of this, you'll know that a lot of stuff has um, been added. So it'll be interesting to see what they've added here. So the first thing we're going to do is a little bit boring, but we're going to have a look at the patch notes for what they've added in this version of the release notes. Okay, so, sorry, I don't think there's a dark mode for this. Put your sunglasses on if you need to. They're fucking dirty. I know you're jealous of my uh, official Twitch sunglasses. But, you know, deal with it. Long-term goals and glorious rewards. That's part of what we hope to introduce with this season. Very appropriately, we have added a season map with progressively harder and harder missions that can challenge even the best of groups. You turned your screen off? Nice. I find it harder to read if I turn the screen off. To assist you with these harder missions and to help you in general with more choices to make, we have expanded the living statue system. See, the living statue system is kind of confusing because they call it they call them guardians in the game right but they call them living statues here it's a little bit confusing 
five different types of living statues. So the idea is that you use the living statue to support you. Each comes with their own strengths and weaknesses and ways for you to use them in different missions. To spice things up even more with an entirely new path to follow, we've also thrown in the Word Seeker. Word? Weird? Weird? Word? Weird? This is a new class belonging to the Stout Heart Origin. Take her with you on your adventure and don't forget to share feedback about the season on Discord. Hey, underling. I can read, yeah. I, I like, my glasses are almost, there's like no magnification. It's just a slight correction for astigmatism. Right, new features and content. The world map. New game mode. Welcome to the war effort. These are high trust missions that can only be played in pre-made groups, unlocked at rank five. Each mission provides a bonus reward on first completion. This reward can be claimed by every character that completes the mission. I've worn glasses for a long time, Underling. Can someone check to see if Discord shows me streaming, please? Uh, you can only invite others to missions that you have unlocked, but you can accept invites to any mission. Unlocks at rank five. Shows a map with a list of nodes, each representing a unique and challenging mission. Missions, details and layout will remain the same every time you attempt the mission, as opposed to the regular Rift Zone missions where most things are randomised. Each mission offers exclusive extra loot, including items with unique bonuses or combinations of attributes that cannot be rolled on random items. Progression of the unlock nodes on the map is shared between all your characters. You can complete a mission multiple times and help other players having trouble with unlocking them, but you will earn your loot once per character. Hey fish, no, no, you cannot. That's not true. We could be twins. I freaking hope not. Sarcastic compliments for Hapcool. Hapcool, I really appreciate you and the fact that you've redeemed that in the middle of me reading this. That's not interruptive at all. Thank you. Right, how are we pronouncing this? Weird? Weird Seeker? can't really think how else we would pronounce that. Wired Seeker? Wired? Can someone help me out here? I'm going to be like a broken record, just weird. We wired. Weird. Wired. Anyone? Word. Wired. It's going to bother me. Okay, so, so this is a new character. There's four characters in the game already. Where it's see, where it's seeker. No, that's more Irish, Scottish. Where it's seeker. The it's seeker. James, what's up? Wired, wired seeker. Yeah, wired seeker. Hmm. Sounds okay. Okay, so difficulty one. Origin Stout Heart. Durable single target damage crowd control. Weaknesses area damage. So she sounds tanky. Okay, each wired seeker is a superlative warrior with no concern for their own safety if they rip through enemies with blow after blow from their rune carved weapons. Driven by a terrible oath to hunt and fight the biggest and most dangerous foes, they attempt to redeem themselves for a past offence. Forged in never-ending combat, the oath is all that matters to the Wired Seeker. And to even consider anything else would bring further shame. Okay. It's pronounced weird. Weird science. Okay, so we'll find out about that. One thing... My concern is that it's going to be very, very similar to the, the the tanky chap already. 
because like the two uh the two healer classes are very similar as well but we'll see Okay, statue specialization. Generic statues have been replaced with five specialized statues that each have particular strengths. Swift attack, attack speed aura, rock statue, tanky statue that taunts enemies, piercer statue, glass cannon statue with double damage to bosses, mine statue, SD aura. What's SD? Extractor statue. I barely know her statue. Gives extra win points from defeated bosses. What's SD Aura? Julian, how are you doing? I'm not sure what the SD Aura is. Okay. Gonna reload the page. Great. Right. Added global channel. Automatically joining game launch. Added private whispers. Several classes no longer have temporary names. New Ultra Powers. Warden and Druid. See, like the Warden and Druid, very similar. Skill damage? Maybe. Emerald Barrage, Growth, Growth, Growth. Weird Seeker, Hearthguard. Is that what it's called, the Hearthguard? Earthquake, Winter's Rage, Lightning Caller. I feel like these are internal names. Like the Lightning Caller's got to be the Zappy Zap dude. Oh my god, how cool. Right, new awareness consequences, raging scrap scrats, enormous enormous engineers, curse of the M's deadline curse, intensity event, boiling swarm, haven visuals and NPCs, someone with placeholder, temporary voice lines, changed equipment, disabled all item level requirements. This is a temporary fix. Equipment slots unlock much faster. Awareness consequences. Pounce, okay. Legionnaires heavily buffed. Phoenix Defender, Health Up, Wind Bloom. I think SD is like s special damage, like your ability damage. Okay. Um, nothing, nothing. Okay, right. That was a bit boring, but it's important to check it out. Wiener Betten, do you like this? I thought she'd be listening to this way too often. Right. We still need a third player. Has anyone else played Project FRE and is looking to play? If I said they know what they're doing. Okay, thanks. You could have answered that question by just not answering it, Underling. Saved us all the pain of interacting with you. Oh, so Underling, Underling doesn't know what he's doing. And is unavailable. Okay, right. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Right, Project F4E. So it's three player, basically. If you play on your own, it'll spit you into a group with some other people. But it would be nice to have people that know what the F is going on. We are not experts, but we know kind of what it's what it's about. My who my project F4E. Um, I don't know. Some of the beaded dwarf developers call it Fay. I call it F4E. Because it's like friendship. F4E stands for friendshipping for everyone. 
So like F four E makes sense. My Yahoo! Thanks for the follow. My Yahoo! Right, Tangelite is still asleep, I think. So uh, he is not available to help us. I don't know if we can fill the group with an extra. If you want to check this out, you can get involved, get a, a copy of the prologue playtest. Too low! I'm, I'm too low. An OPM game, what's that? Right, let me just create a private room and then we can figure out what's going on. No ma no ma yay. No ma no ma yay. No ma no ma no ma yay. One punch man. Okay, so the thing we want to look at Rift Knights. So we already know about the Hearth Guard, the Lightning Caller. Is that what they were called? I feel like they weren't called that before. Let me look at my old screenshots. Frost Barbarian. So this guy was called the Frost Barbarian before. Lightning Mage. Um, she was the Forest Ranger. She was the forest druid. I don't know why they've changed those. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. It hasn't got a space in it. It's like just like an internal name or something. I don't know. No my no my no my yay. Okay, so the new one is the weird seeker. So let's. Stout Heart. Dual Wielding. So remember, the way that the characters work, patch notes say they removed temp... Oh yeah, that's right. I was wondering what that was for. Have you played this, Zero? Okay, so the way the characters work is they tend to have an ability based on... Let me turn this music down a little bit. Hydrate and stress. No, but DL did now. Trixivity, how you doing? So the characters have like an ability based on energy, and they build up energy in different ways. So if we look at this character, right, so. Zealous Onslaught. At 30 energy, consume all to summon an angry feather. All taunts heal 10% of missing health per target. What's an angry feather? Angry feather. Gain 20% crit chance for 8 seconds per angry feather. So you could potentially have multiple angry feathers. So not only do you get 20% crit damage... Uh, crit chance, but you get 175% crit damage. Okay. Hey, Ashlaw, how's it going? Okay, so this is like the base ability, right? Fury strikes. Your normal attack deal 60% damage. Each consecutive attack on the same target applies fury strikes. Each stack... Sorry, are we, are we following this? Each stack... <laughs> Thanks for the subscription! Trixivity. I feel like that's easier to say than I'm making it. Each consecutive attack on the same target applies Fury Strikes. Each stack makes your normal attacks deal more damage per stack. Max 15 stacks. Okay. So. You can see that the indicator's going up there, so... The longer you attack a target, the more damage it does. But how do we gain energy? So 15 is the max. Okay, so, and then when you use this ability, gain 4 hits, 4 energy per hit. 
and replace gain four energy per hit replace your next normal attack with the sunder okay let's try it okay. so sometimes the uh, abilities have a different version if you hold it down yeah, so like here we see, if we hold down the Q, we get a different ability. That looks like the Taunt ability. Do we understand that? I just want to see the energy, so... You gain four energy per hit when you Let me know if the sounds are too loud. I just want to make sure I understand this before we check it out. Gain four energy per hit. It replaces your next normal attack with Sunder. Sunder attacking creates an area that deals. Okay. So Sunder does an AoE. So you hit it, and then your next attack, boom, does an AoE. Okay. That we understand. Okay, let's just stop that for a second. All to full, increase radius and damage. Plus you do a taunt. So... Taunt, so it's got a taunt thing up there. Okay, that's nice. So you can see whilst we've been doing that, we've been uh, increasing this bar at the bottom. This blue bar, I don't know if you can... Can you see that on the screen? You should be able to. This thin blue bar at the bottom, that's our energy. So when we get to 30 energy, it should automatically consume it and give us an angry feather. Let's find out. I'm not sure if, it's, if the whole bar's 30. Okay, then we've got an angry feather. Let's go. So it lasts for 8 seconds and we get uh, increased crit chance. Okay, seems legit. Right. Okay, do we understand that? Kind of. Remember, these are the base ability, or the base ability, and the um, the passive ability you start with. You also have all of these that you can unlock as you go, and more that we can get as we go further. So she is basically a tank. So the ability, so that, sorry, the uh, the Rip Knights you have, this, these are basically a tank, hold on, that's a tank, yeah, so these have the same strengths and weaknesses, is that me attacking in the background, yeah, that's kind of annoying, so that's, he's a tank, she's a tank, this is of course ranged AoE, lots of stuns as well, And these are both healers. Different kinds of healers. I think the druid's more of a hot healer. Heals over time, whereas the warden is a single target kind of healer. Right. I thought that was you, but you're behind that guy. So it looks like they've completely revamped this section as well. Of course, we see a lot of familiar faces because this does exist within the same universe as Minion Masters. So we got a priestess in here. We got a woodsman, Valorian. Uh, looks like we've got uh, a crystal sentry. Not sure about that. That one looks. She looks different. That's Milloween there. Crossbow dudes. So yeah, lots of familiar faces. And those that aren't familiar, 
they have a very similar art style as well because it's part of the uh, the same universe. But like, if you look at this lady, you'd know that she's stout heart just by her style. Looks like there's a fish. There's a fish. You are Valorian. It looked like you were. Okay, so we need a third person before we can start this. Um, who wants to join? Anyone else that's going to join? Do we have... Let's... You, I'd, if you're on your own, it will match make you into a random group. But if you've got two people, it won't match make you a third. Uh, then I'd be very upset too. Mama Louder! <laughs> when your elo is so high, they put you up against a mean fish. Rip. Right, we need one more player! If I click battle random, does that just take me into a random battle without you? Searching random match. Mission is ready. Did it, anything pop up for you? Did you not understand it? I made a video about the the new idol, the minions. Explains it. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, maybe you can get a third. Oh, okay. I don't know what the matchmaking takes into account with regards to uh, classes and stuff. I don't know if it tries to give you a range of classes, but let's find out. So hopefully we'll have a tank, which is myself. Money, um, I didn't see what money was. Are you a healer money or are you the mage? And then, so we ideally we, we want a tank, a healer and DPS. Money's DPS, which is the mage. Although you can kind of DPS with the um, with the healers if you spec them. Okay, Rift Zone Rank 2. Defeat enemy bosses to close the rift and accomplish mission. Intel, hunters, groups of hunters, hunter enemies will appear and seek you out. You've dropped a bronze 2 in solos. I didn't realise you were that high. Okay, so you get to choose some powers. When you first start, you're not going to have many different interesting powers. You'll just have these basic powers like passive, movement speed or damage. So you have two types of damage. You've got your regular damage and your attack power damage kind of thing. Okay, so we've basically got two tanks. But the idea is this down the bottom left here, we've got to fill this bar up. Fill this up before this fills up, basically. Fill the blue up before the red fills up. So we're going to get some energy, some rift energy here. 
Okay, so we've got five of them. We need 80. You, you can pick them up and you can also get it from killing enemies. So as we kill stuff and level up, we'll get more abilities. But the problem is we don't have a healer, so this is going to kind of suck. Okay, so choose a power wisely. Cold slam. So if we've got no healer, then we really need to just take as many CC and defensive abilities. But that's the problem with just getting a random person that you don't really know what you're going to get. I don't know how much this game is going to cost. You can earn a free copy of it just by playing it. That's fine. Yeah. Yes, you can play for free right now in the prologue, and if you play the prologue enough and get enough prologue points, then you can earn a copy of the game. Right, so this guy rezzed. Died, I mean, we're going to res him. Okay, so again, just basic. Passive, more HP, healing. Okay, so. I know. Busy with university. This guardian is battling the invaders. We can use the rift shards to empower it. Well, that guy's huge! Yeah, we're gonna really need those statues to help us. It's confusing how the document at the start referred to the living statues, but then they're called lift gu uh, lift gu Rift Guardians in the game. It is a statue, but it's freaking huge! Oh, this is a rock statue! Okay, so it's attacks taunts. So you can use those to help you. Um, I mean, we kind of need to utilize them as much as possible. This is like this is way too high a level. Our, our tanks just pulled something that's probably going to just melt us. Yeah. Tank has no clue. Die, die, trikey. You found an enemy commander. Oh, I have to press G, don't I? They changed it. You have to press it rather than click on it. I don't know, Bob Ross. I don't know. Snake, what's up? Ah! Okay. Oh, I do not. We've got a ground save. It's weird that you can get multiple versions of the same attack. Right, um, I think we're good there. Okay, this this is very difficult with no healer. It's gonna real suck. Right, we need someone to come and jo we need someone to join our group and probably be a healer. That enemy commander has a bunch of resonating energy. I don't think I've ever played it without a healer before. It's not very fun. I think I should have taken the ability that uh, slowly regens my health. I mean, this is only a low level, so we might get away with it. Take Diablo 4, Bob Ross. You should be real careful with taking any damage, really. Ooh. He says, what a murder. Okay. 
We've got a new power. Uh, the, no, the level ups are each run. So you you start afresh each run. Okay, so this is the one that's got the, the aura around it. Special damage. Okay, so if you look down here, you've got your normal damage and special damage. Normal damage is like your weapon damage. Special damage is your ability damage. Okay, so we're 40 out of 80. So we're doing okay. Just having no heals. Oh! Really sucks. We just need to be careful that we don't pull more than we can handle. Honey is dead at the top there somehow. Yes, very close. Okay, level up. Sounds like there's some fighting going on somewhere, right? This door. Oh, shit! Okay. So we can't use that statue yet. Oh. Okay, I guess we're fighting these. I didn't pull the big guy, I only pulled the little one, so it wasn't my fault. Mm. These guys are attacking our tower things. Okay. We can kind of make up books for no healing if we've got a lot of crowd control and stuff. We do need to deal with those little guys that are on our tower, but we all need to focus this guy down, really. As we level up, not level up within this run, but as we level up the character overall, then we should be able to unlock some more interesting abilities and stuff. Okay, so we're 80 out of... 60 out of 80, sorry. So we've we're almost there. That gave us shards. These shards at the top here. We've got 739. We can use those to activate these statues. This guardian is battling the invaders. We them can and use the rift shards to empower it. It's getting more health. Oh, there's a heal here. Anyone need a heal? Anyone need a heal? No, I'm the only one that needs a heal. Okay, so we've got two statues together. Like, they walk really slowly, but you can spend some shards on them to speed them up so they can come and help. I was running after that guy, but uh, that was actually good. Okay, get away from him! Okay, we've got five more points there. So these guys are buffing. We got a lot of points. We should just like probably speed these up, right? Haste. Okay. So these ones buff our abilities when we're close to them. Okay, money's got some extras there. Okay, so we need ten more points. 
So yeah, the, the commanders, which are the, the much bigger units, like this guy here, will give us points. On the map it shows us we'll get 20 points from this guy. Uh, that's a lot of extra shit! I die. Out at Hobart. The statue should kill this for us, I think. I'm not even sure which is the boss. This is the boss over here, I think. The boss is almost dead. Okay, there we go. The boss is dead. We did it. Interact with a Phoenix Defender to complete it. Now, the Phoenix Defender... There are these marks on there. Okay, that was rough, but those statues basically carried that in. I am dead. Oh, shit. Oh, we might... If Oh, fuck. This guy's going to die. Oh, he's healing. How is he healing? He must have an ability to heal. Okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. You teleported and died in the <laughs> middle of it. Okay, we did it. So it seems at a low level, if you're careful, you can get through without a healer. But it's not advised. I really enjoy the heal playing the healer. I don't think a lot of people do. I think you're more likely to get the tanks, especially the new character, I guess. Okay, so we got some power shards which we can use to upgrade specific abilities. And we got some new equipment, which gives us more goodness. So this is more regular attack, more special attack, and more damage, depending on how long the game's gone on. Same respawn healing okay I survived what did you survive right so okay so we've leveled up here we completed a quest which means we can select a new power so you won't start with the power but this means it'll be added to the list of powers that you can get during a game permafrost Frostburn and its effects last plus one second. So, looks like these are passives, I think. I think if they're circular, it means they're passives. And you can upgrade them. So like this, uh, this passive means our Angry Feather gives us a shield. And this means our... Frostburn, whatever that is. Frostburn slows by 30% per stack. Okay. Um, we kind of need a healer. I don't know if Nanny has this or not. would like to continue to play the new character which means we need a healer okay so powers we've added a few here we've also got the ability because of the things that the shards or whatever we got we can upgrade them so this is the group hug which is the big taunt upgraded means we get energy per energy per enemy taunted Cold Slam deals extra damage. Okay, so remember, these are not the abilities that we're guaranteed to get. These are just the options that we'll get as we go. And we'll get to a point where to unlock a new ability, we'll have to get rid of an older one. Like these default ones are not as good. And as mentioned, the circular ones are the passives, which means you don't have to do anything. They just do their thing. Um, and the the square ones are just regular abilities. And I think the red one is 
your I'm not sure how, it's like your heroic ability right your big boy end game ability can't remember what they refer to it as in this game but yeah it's the big big boy business Okay, so we got some equipment, so we'll add our weapons. So that basically just means that we're better. We're better than we were before. We see our stats. This is our health. This is our normal damage. This is our special damage, which is for the abilities. Movement speed, attack speed, special stats that we get from various different uh, things. Right, so money's going to...